This is a 1981 DeLorean. It was uh, a very early model, the 403rd one out of production. This one uh, coming in April of 1981. In 1985, when Victoria's Larry Hildreth saw a DMC-12 DeLorean on the road for the first time, the car made an unexpected impression that sped right into his future. I was in Dallas uh, initially at first, and I saw a DeLorean uh, go by. My son and I had a rental car, and I was quite impressed. I said, my God, what was that? And he said, Dad, that was a DeLorean. With its sporty and aerodynamic design, the DeLorean is a fitting choice for Larry, who is now a retired airplane pilot. It feels like an airplane at times. It's, uh, it's, it's got the gull wing doors. It's, uh, if you sit in the, uh, I'll call it the cockpit, uh, the instrumentation and everything is readily at hand and it's, uh, it's pretty remarkable in that, in that regard. The car was really designed as an ethical sports car, one that was not going to require a great deal of uh, work and or design, or it was something that was going to last a long time. And I, in that regard, it certainly has met its expectations. I mean, holy cow, I mean, how many cars are out there driving around that are 30 plus years old? And this has not had a lot of work either. And it's good that the car has been reliable. Only about 9,200 DMC-12s were produced in its 1981 to 82 production run, so there really aren't many DeLorean experts. Fortunately, Larry can maintain the car himself. They say it's a little underpowered. I guess that's probably true, but it's certainly fast enough for me, and uh, it'll go uh, top in uh, pretty, uh, pretty high. Climbs right up the Malahat, climbs right up the uh, Highway 1, no problems whatsoever. It's a good highway car, 0 to 60, it's a little bit on the slow side, no question about that. One of the car's truly unique design features is a body with no paint. Stainless steel is 304 stainless, which is the same as your uh, basic refrigerator and stove and dishwasher. It's brush stainless to keep it from uh, glaring so much that it would cause uh, possible uh, other motorists to <laughs> divert their attention and uh, be blinded uh, temporarily and not be able to see. The brushed steel may reduce the glare, but with this car, it's certainly distracting, both because of its rarity and its pop culture status. It's a car which attracts a lot of people uh, through uh, their knowledge of uh, Back to the Future series. It's almost embarrassing at times to have this car parked to a really Beautifully restored, like Jaguar XKE convertible. I can remember being on the uh, Black Ball Ferry with that particular car. When we left the ferry and we were all on board, no one was looking at that car. Everyone was looking at this DeLorean, which <laughs> is considerably less expensive than a Jaguar XKE, I can assure you. The 1985 hit film Back to the Future turned the DeLorean into a fast-moving time machine, and the movie's incredible popularity has made the DMC-12 into arguably the most iconic movie vehicle. Though Larry's DMC-12 can't jump through time, he does have his own vision of an automotive future. I'm, I'm excited about uh, the new body styles and some of the stuff that's on the uh, almost immediate horizon. There are uh, driverless cars. I think that's going to come about uh, very much sooner than what uh, we may be anticipating. I saw the newsreel with the Google car just the other day. Uh, that'll be a safer car. Uh, I can relate that to aviation. Uh, autopilots don't make many mistakes. Uh, pilots, unfortunately, do make a few. Uh, so uh, this is something I think we've all got to look forward to. And in the present, even after 30 years of ownership, Larry still loves his 81 DeLorean. It's fulfilled uh, a need to have a really nice, neat car. It's just, uh, this has been nice and neat enough for me over the years. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Derek Johnstone.